Hey guys, what's going on? Drax here, back again with another episode of Subnautica. Hope you guys are having a good one today. My day is going pretty darn well, just kind of cleaning everything up around here, uh, doing a couple of things. I went and replenished the both sides. I put some more peepers in that side and some more air sacs in that side and, uh, you know, been, been enjoying myself. But today I want to go ahead and I want to try and make... Uh, the Cyclops. Now, we have a good chunk of the Cyclops stuff. Uh, what I'm short on, if we if we go to the wiki here for a second, I am short on the engine fragments. And those are found in the underwater islands or mountain biome. Um, so I need to find those. I think I've been to one of them. I don't know. I don't know which one I've been to. Probably the underwater islands. But I figured we would head off and I probably want to carry my, I probably want to carry my radiation suit with me. No, let's not do that. I have my water re reclaiming suits and uh, that should be probably just fine. Jump into our sea moth, which is fully charged and we can head off into the wild blue yonder. Let's take a look around here. So the aurora is that way. I'm going to head off in the opposite direction. And we're going to find the last remaining pieces of the Cyclops. And I'm looking forward to finding the last remaining pieces of the Cyclops. Um, I think that it's actually going to be like really expensive to make. And I don't know if I'm going to have enough stuff. But I do want to try my absolute best to get everything that we need in today's episode. Now there's a couple other things that I might want to try and go for. There's a bunch of scrap out here. That's good. That's, you know, that's what you want to see. Uh, there's a couple other things that I might want to go for, but I don't really know too much yet. This looks cool. Is there, yeah, one of those reef backs. A couple of those reef backs actually. Come over here, I don't see anything. Come back over this way. I don't think you can go inside this. Just kind of looking around here. Hey, little baby reef back. What's up, little baby reef back? He's tiny. So little. All right. Just doing some exploring. Whoa. A little bit of touchiness there. Okay. Not seeing anything yet. You guys seeing anything? I'm not. Just kind of exploring here. There's something. Let's check out what this is. Filtration machine? I don't know what that is. What just hit me? Oh, that thing's sending like spikes my way. There's another thing. I wonder if that's another filtration machine fragment. Oh wait, this way. Yeah, another filtration machine fragment. All right, I stock. Acquired. I stalk, okay. I stalk, you stalk, everybody stalks. No, uh, lead, some crystal in here. Let's uh, roll with this. I don't know why, but every once in a while I, I pick up this machine, this uh, sea glide, and I don't get any sounds. And it's it really messes with my head a little bit when that happens. But I guess it's not the end of the world. Are we out of power in it? I guess we were. That's why it wasn't making any sound. That makes sense. Got some titanium. Yeah, I guess we're not deep enough for any of the other cool stuff. Caution. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. We are okay. Now, 
to continue looking a little bit for where these things might be. All right, guys, we're back at base. I have unfortunately not found all of the different things that we needed. Um, I have actually not found any of the Cyclops fragments that I had set out to find. And I don't know why. I, I found them back before, but now for some reason I was not able to find anything related to the Cyclops that I didn't already have. So... That's a little bit of a bummer, but we also unlocked something else here today, and I think we're going to be okay with that. I'm going to go ahead and just eat this stuff, get kind of resaturated here. Uh, we should probably throw one of these batteries on the charger. There we go. Yeah, everything else is doing pretty good. Okay, so if we come into here... Oh, the reactor's inactive. Um... Come into here. Let's grab our Niff. Do this guy. You can get some seeds here. That should be enough to get this thing going again a little bit. There it goes. And look at it fill up. That's pretty cool. All right. So our air sacs are doing nicely. Let's come up here, walk over to this area. And we got a water filtration machine that we're gonna try out. And we also got a modification station for the Seamoth that we're gonna try out here today. I don't think, I think we might've got, oh yeah, nuclear. That's right. And then the, I think, I don't know if I finished it, but there was the thermal uh, one as well. Maybe I didn't finish it. All right, so we need to get some materials here real quick. So just pop down here. And we'll need one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, that should be the first start. This will be the water filtration machine. Actually, I don't want that there. I want that to go right here. All right, so that is the water filtration machine. Now, I believe this just creates water and salt. Like, you can see it, like, right there. It's just creating water and salt. And then for the... That, we'll need two computer chips and some glass. Got that. The glass we should have right over here. We got one computer chip and the glass. Now, what do we need for the computer chip? I'm trying to remember. Table coral sample, silver, and quartz. Okay. Quartz. Silver. Maybe a couple of those. Okay, where's my table coral samples? A couple of those. And... I think that's all we're going to need. Let's take a look. Yep, that sure is. All right, Seamoth Modification Station is ready to go. Let's go ahead and grab that. And it can go in one of these spots. I kind of want it to go back here. Just like so. Nothing dock. Seamoth dock can add upgrades to the Seamoth hull reinforcement. Seamoth torpedoes? Whoa. But there's storage modules, solar chargers, power efficiency modules, pressure compensator, plasteel ingot, perimeter defense system, torpedo system, and sonar. Wow, that actually sounds pretty cool. And so on this, we can name our sea moth. So let's name it. Let's name it. Oh, gosh. What do we want to call it? Um. Call it the destroyer. There we go. And then we can change the colors. Let's bring our colors back up. Let's go for a dark green. And then the, the name can go white. I don't the interior can go green. Stripe number one can go purple. And stripe number two can go purple as well, but we're going to go for a much richer purple. 
All right, so let's check this thing out. The Destroyer. I like it. I like it a lot. That is actually really cool. All right, so let's look at some of these. The Destroyer has been docked. Um, so I want to do these storage modules, so I should probably go and get some of those. I don't... Maybe a pressure compensator. I don't know if we have the stuff to make a plasteel ingot. I've never made a plasteel ingot. So I'm, I'm kind of in between on that one. But let's let's drop down here and let's take a look. Uh, plasteel. I feel like we're like super close. All right, plasteel, titanium ingot, and lithium. Okay. Uh, one, two, three. Let's just pull out all of our titanium. And then we have some lithium there. Titanium ingot. Lithium. And then it needs a computer chip as well, so more table coral samples. And quartz. I don't think I have any more table coral in here. So let's come over here. There it is, right there. Let's grab that. Okay, this should be our computer chip. And then we can walk back over there to the Seamoth modification. I love that color scheme. That is so cool. I'm so glad we got that. I kind of think I need to like make this all caps too. Let's let's do that. The the destroyer. There we go. Let's do that. The destroyer has been docked. All right, so now we can make the pressure compensator. And we can make storage. We're unpowered. Ooh. Ooh, what's wrong? Why don't we have any power? Is it night? No, it's not night. This thing's active. Let's see, what do we need for power in a nuclear power plant. Titanium ingots, two lead, and lubricant. I got lead. I don't think I have the stuff for lubricant. We're just completely unpowered. Okay, let's come up here. Let's partially deconstruct this guy. Just so it stops using some power. Then we come over here. Man, this is bad. <laughs> um, that's active. Let's pull this out. So we can get a little bit more power. And then if we come back here to the sea moth. need to get to the other side here. Um, let's deconstruct that ever so slightly. Access upgrades. I'm going to go ahead and put in the pressure compensator. Very nice. So that's good. But still running into problems with power. Hmm. Not good. All right. Solar panel, two quartz. That's exactly what I have. Solar panel. Let's go ahead and put this solar panel up top as well. Alright, so that's a little bit more power. Not much, but a little bit. Three, four, two. Yep, see, as soon as I opened it, it, it closed back up. Hmm. Maybe if I undock the sea moth. Maybe that'll help. Welcome aboard, Captain. Turn off the lights, let it chill there. 
come back in here. We're at 12, 13, 11, 12, 13, 14, 12. Titanium ingot. That's a good start. All right. Hmm. All right. Give me a minute, guys. All right. So still not much power in the base, but I am working towards getting a little bit more. So I'm working on getting a nuclear power plant. So we should have this right here. There we go. Now it's inactive. So we need some of the, I think they're called like nuclear rods or something like that. And I, I don't think I've seen them before. Uranium. I guess that's what you need. Now I haven't even seen those yet. Uranite crystals. Yeah. A reactor rod, uranium, lead, and titanium. I don't know that I've even seen that. So I might have to go back out and do a little bit more exploring, but I've kind of torn down like everything in my base to kind of, you know, help power get back to it. So I, um, everything is really just deconstructed right now. So still working towards getting back to, to operational, but uh, I'll bring you guys back once I do. All right, guys, I'm out here. Whoa, passing safe depth. Okay, so I'm out here in the blood kelp biome, and there's the uranite. All right, let's go ahead and get out. Let's go down here and collect this. It's kind of like floating a little bit. There we go. Now we ran out of batteries. Let's go ahead and load up a new battery. Okay, here's another one. I want to try to collect as much of this stuff as I can. What is this? Cyclops pressure compensator fragment. Now, I haven't even... Caution. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. I haven't even found the Cyclops yet, but I'm finding pressure compensators for it. Okay. Emergency. 10 seconds of oxygen All right, we're good. Remaining. We're good. Let's see, there's some more kind of up this way, which I should probably grab. Let's go ahead and check that out. It's right there. Some more right over here. Nice. Okay, now, is there a way inside of this thing? Looks like there might be. Okay. Maybe a chair. It's creepy in here, I'll tell you that much. Caution. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Let's get back up and out of here. All right, I'm going to collect a little more uranite, uranite, and I'll uh, I'll be back as soon as we get back and start up that nuclear reactor. All right, so I'm making up some uranium. Quite a bit of it actually. And then I need to turn that uranium into reactor rods with lead. So I'll just grab the lead that we have over here. Come back over to this. Check this. Reactor rod. Two reactor rods. Three reactor rods. And four reactor rods. Okay, so now we come over to this and we can put in the reactor rods. Okay, so we're up to 700 power and I don't know how much this thing's generating, but it looks like it's doing okay. <laughs> Calorie, deficiency detected. Calorie deficiency detected. So we're up to 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. I mean, it's... It's going fairly quick, it seems. I don't I don't know for sure, but it would she seem that way. I'm going to go ahead and take this back out and then this out. Go ahead and I'll put these over here in this so this also can get some some power going. Can I put these in? No, I sure can't. Uh, just organic matter. Eat those, then we'll come into here. 
We'll get a couple of food. We'll cook them up. So yeah, the base is getting power again. Awesome. I was a little worried there, to be honest with you guys, just for a little bit. Get these things Vital ate up. Stabilizing. Vital side stabilizing. Good. And so now we got to kind of rebuild what we've got going on. So I need some titanium. I'll need titanium, computer chip, all that stuff. Uh, computer chip, computer chip. This, this, glass, this, enamel glass, this. Um, all of that probably won't need the fiber mesh, won't need the mercury ore. Let's go ahead and put that over here. I have to look in here, grab whatever titanium I have left. All right. So first things first is we will need to come upstairs, put our water filtration machine back in. So that thing can do what it needs to do. Then I think I was... I had the battery thing over here. Where's that at? Uh, battery charger. I had it over in the doorway over there. I think I'm gonna put it right here. And then I think, oh, actually let's go ahead and throw some batteries in this. Uh, 100, 100, zero, there we go. All right, and then I think I'm gonna put the power cell charger over here in this room and I'm short on titanium hmm it's no bueno just constantly running out of materials here today all right where's some scrap I need some scrap metal y'all got any scrap metal I know you do you've got to Ooh, crystal take that or quartz, not crystal. Uh, let's see. Are you titanium? Nope, you're copper. Oh, what is this down here? Bioreactor fragment. Well, this will give us some titanium. Good, good. We can come right back up here. Let's go ahead and change out one of our power sources. And we can put that away. Get this thing built up. There we go, that's taken care of, reclaimed water. All right, so we've got another dead battery cell. Okay, got this machine. I don't know what it's doing, but it's doing something. Uh, battery cell right there. Now, I think I had something else that I need to reconstruct. This, okay, the Seamoth modification station uh, does need to be reconstructed. But again, we're running into a similar situation where we are out of titanium. I don't know what those are. Probably something I've dropped. Uh, let's see. What are you? Mobile vehicle bray fragment. All right. This will scan. Okay. And then, are you some more titanium? No, you're lead. Uh, are you titanium? Titanium! Yay! We found titanium. All right, silver. Okay, I don't think I want to go down that far. Oh, here we go, here we go. Inventory's full, okay. Let's come back up. back up to the moon pool wow we traveled really far like I'm like I always get surprised how far we actually travel when we do this okay so let's switch to this should be able to make this up there we go and then I probably can't make anything in here nope sure can't but I think that's everything I tore down to to save on power. Pretty sure that it is. I'll just need a little bit more titanium. Because we're, I mean, the power is doing pretty good. Not going to lie, the power is doing pretty darn well. So, the last little thing I need to do... 
Swap this for that. And we'll get some of that. And then we're going to come over here to the sea moth one last time. And we shall make this. We could make before collisions. Eliminating damage under normal conditions. Okay. I don't know what that's good for. Maybe just like normal bumps and bruises. I don't know. I think storage is going to be pretty neat. Okay. And now we have like... 16 slots of storage. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, that's where we're going to wrap up today. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.